Hey everybody, um, I wanted to just do a little video here to show you. It's uh, March 30th and I thought I would put together some Easter houses for my grandkids so that they can do something while they're all stuck at home. Um, so I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna make the shells and some of the decorations and then they're gonna put it all together. So here's what we got. If I could figure out how to turn my camera around, which I guess, oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm using hard candy and I basically bought butterscotch discs, some root beer barrels that I use those for the roof, um, some Jolly Ranchers and some Lifesavers and I'm just putting them in and some of them I kind of broke up. I, I used my handy dandy um, meat tenderizer to do that. Um, there's the roof. I put little yellow ones in for the windows. We'll see. There they are um, just out of the oven, and when that cools, I'll be able to pop that right out. Um, gosh darn it, I wish I would have kept it out so you could see. There's actually a little roof pattern there, so that, um, you know, that'll look really cool. And then this is our spring cookie molds, and you can't really tell, but there's like a little chick coming out. That's a frog, that's an Easter egg, there's a fence, there's a bunny, there's a tree. Oh, I lost my, I'll have to... Here, I'll put some purple in for my tree trunk. Um, and I'll be honest, it's kind of a guessing game on how it's going to come out when it melts. But they, they melt pretty evenly, and there's actually yellow in there. It didn't come out perfect, but pretty darn close. So I'm happy so far. Um, and so like I said, I'll put those um, in a Ziploc, and I brought got some sprinkles and some other things like that that they can kind of decorate with. And just a fun little activity for the grandkids when there's not a whole lot else to do. So thanks, everybody. Bye.